um, Gabby, with a Y or an I, whichever one you prefer. Your plan is falling apart. You showing your hand, revealing your hand, and you just fucking up all over the place. I don't know what to do with you no more. I guess you like being convicted and going to jail. You barely made it out of jail alive this time, but I guess that's what you like, huh? Because you want to get back at Abigail and Stephanie, okay? And then, well, I'm not surprised Kate went along with this plan because she got that whole you feeding stuff and information behind Chad back. So I'm not surprised she's going to confirm your story in. Like I said yesterday, it's only a matter of time before Abigail put two and two together and realized that she being sought up. And you see how quick she called Gabby name out, said I was just having tea with her, and then all of a sudden, I wound up here and don't know how I ended up here. Like, Gabby, your plan is falling apart. You can sit there and have Kate corroborate your story all you want to. She already one step from going down. Because it ain't going to take nothing but a matter of a second before Stephanie exposed her ass because he don't need her no more. Well, yes, he do. He need her a little bit to get the information that Chad do dealing with Titan. So he kind of need her. Once that gig is up, watch Kate get thrown under the bus like she always do. Like, Gabby... You just won't leave well enough alone. I guess you like jail. I guess you like being a bad girl. I guess you like almost getting beat up to death. You already in lost. You can't have no children no more. I guess you really want to end your life this time all because you mad at um, Abigail and her altered and what they did. Like, oh, Gabby, you getting on my damn nerves. And... Chad believe Abigail, of course. You mad in your finna cause he don't believe you. That um Gabby with a Y came back and attacked you like If that will help you sleep at night, go on ahead with it, I guess. Like I said, I got a bad feeling about the end of this. How this gonna come back and bite, f backfire on you and hit you and bite you right in your ass. You deserve that. Maybe you'll sit your ass down somewhere. And I no longer feel sorry for your ass cause you is doing the absolutely most. You got Kate on your side. Kate will be the last person I ever trust to have on my side. You think you got her with that whole information, but what she doing behind Chad Beck? Like I said, this only a matter of time before that come out. Then what you going to use? What do you have over Kate here then? Besides that, like, Gabby, you got my goddamn head hurt. And I just started two minutes ago. Really, Gabby? You went through all this. You trying to convince this girl that Gabby with a Y came back. As you can see, the predator was ready to bite and jump on it. See, this is proof. This is proof right here that Gabby is here. And she trying to contact me. Thinking he supposed to have inside information and be all in the mix with it. Because it's his baby. Yeah, what do you get that shocker right there? I kind of want to see your face when, it, when it's revealed that, she, that that child is not yours. I kind of want to see your face hit the floor anyway. Steph, because you do need to be knocked down a thousand notches. So, I kind of want to see your face when that happened. But... But anyways, though, I don't know why he get inside information. And Abigail, you so-called can't stand him, but you want to feed him inside of information. No, he deserves to know. No, he should know. No, he need to know. Like, if somebody I couldn't stand, they took advantage of me when I was sick like a predator and raped me. You think they'll know anything about my life? If anything, they'll have to be going around sneaking behind corners and walls and anything else they can sneak around just to find out what's going on in my life. I don't understand how y'all give Stephen so much information on Abigail's life. I really don't understand it. And why y'all think he should be included in anything. Y'all see how he was jumping and pouncing on the fact that Gabby is alive. Gabby is him. She trying to contact me. I'm the only one she trusts. She don't trust nobody else. If y'all want the information, y'all come to me and I'll give you the info like. <sighs> Can this storyline please her up and in?
please, I'm begging you. Days, if y'all wasting up time, congratulations. Y'all wasting up some good time on Abigail, Chad, and this stupid ass storyline. Like, I'm so over it. I, I really am. I don't know how much patience I got for that storyline anymore. Like, it kills me, Gabby, that you a scoop this low just to prove a point and to get back at Abigail that always get her way. Not saying that she don't always get her way. She do, though, but that's her husband. Did you really expect him to have your back and not his wine bag? Even if Gabby with a wise back or not, do you really expect him to believe all that? All you got from this situation was a bump on your forehead, really? Hair not messed up, clothes not ripped, a, 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 a chair thrown this way, a chair thrown that way. You ain't even must make, make the room look believable. Like, did you really expect him to fall for that shit? Did you really? Like Gabby, nice plan, but and you talking about full force, you better fool and sit your ass down somewhere for you end up in somebody's jail. And you know trash would love to grab you again. And you know she would love to arrest your ass all over again. You see how she ain't want you to get released this time. Now imagine the next time she might really throw away the key or swallow the key. Gabby, you better leave well enough alone trying to get trying to get back at Abigail and Stephen. It ain't worth it. Like I said, dump the whole company away and just start all over. Go get you alone to sudden life. If you want to do all this just to prove a point, I really hate to see you really mad, mad, mad day. I would really hate to see that because you is something else and this plan like every other plan you and came up with came back and blowed up in your face like good luck but not really if it's yeah what you're reaching for you gonna find it soon enough because abigail remember all that stuff how hard is it, how hard is it for her to think and realize what you did her last memory was with you having tea then she ended up here with a black wig in front of stephanie's and not to mention, Abigail. Okay, you're not Gabby with a Y. You trying to prove Stephen, you're not Gabby with a Y. Why the hell did you have that black wig on your head so damn long? As soon as you realize what was going on and how you ended up here, you don't remember anything, I would have snatched that wig off and beat Stephen ass with it. When he trying to convince me that Gabby is here, that's what I would have done. I would have snatched that wig out so quick and threw it in the fireplace and let the thing catch on fire. Like, you kept that wig on your head too long for my liking. Like, I don't know why the hell you sitting up there trying to explain anything to him with that black wig on your head. And all he said is Gabby with a Y, not Abigail. Like, that, that, was, that was just beating a dead horse right there. Like, really? You kept that wig on almost a whole darn scene. A whole full scene. You kept that black wig on your head. You took it off in the middle and the end. You took it off. Thank God for that. I thought you were going to sit there. I thought you liked the wig. I thought you might have dyed your hair black hair. As long as you kept that wig on and you trying to explain to him. And you know he don't want to hear that shit. Like I said, he swear up and down, Gabby with a wire, trying to contact him, trying to get his attention, trying to let her, let him know that she back like, you kept that wig on to that scene too long in. Anybody with common sense would have tried to prove something to somebody. They would have snatched that wig off and destroyed it, throw it in the fire, beat his ass with it, or slapped him with it with something else with it. Like, I don't understand why you were sitting there trying to explain anything with him with that black wig on your head. You threw me for a loop there. And Chad, I can say you did a good job this scene. You actually believe her, not Gabby. I wouldn't have believed Gabby from the jump with that whole scene called herself. Gabby beat her up. And all she did was left a knot right here on her forehead. Her hair wasn't messed up. Her makeup wasn't messed up. Her clothes wasn't ripped. The chair was flipped over. That was all. 
if you try to convince somebody not to go to Steph and they're trying to keep Abigail in the place, I think I would have believed everything in the room destroyed or everything in the room busted up and all that like, okay, I'm done. I, I, I'm done. Like, that's all I can stomach with them. That's 10 minutes. I'm done with their asses. Anything I left out with you, it's just going to have to be left out because I can't take too much longer with them, their asses. And how all of them, I can't. I really can't. I hope I ain't leaving nothing out. I hope. Let me check and make sure I didn't leave anything out because I don't think I did. Cause Stephen want his wish and he want her back and he willing to do whatever he can. And thank God Chad came walking up in there cause I'm pretty sure he would have took full advantage of the situation. You seen his eyes lit up like a Christmas tree when he saw that black wig when he first walked in there and noticed her. Like he was so ready to, um, to pick her up and kiss her. She loves me. She care for me. She want me. Like... Stephen, you got to calm down your happiness of seeing Gabby with a Y. Because don't nobody be happy to see Gabby with a Y except your perverted ass. And the fact that you get so happy and decided just saying her name, mentioning her name. And the fact that you think she back. You might want to calm that down a thousand notches too, buddy. Because ain't nobody happy to see her besides your ass. And you shouldn't be happy to see her how much trouble you got in. Did you forget what Chad did to you and he almost did to your ass today? Chad was about to swing on you again, believe it or not. Did you not see how he was coming for you? Yeah, I'd leave together with a wise um, fantasy and situation all the way alone if I was you. But you can't. You're going to do what you're going to do. And I'm going to keep on talking about you. So, no, I'm not. Anyways, though, the Sammy, Xander, Nicole... Kristen situation. Kristen, you know it and I know it. Your ass is not going to kill Brady. I don't know why you attempting to try. I don't know why you want to try to scare that man. You love that man so much and you so crazy and obsessed with that man. Even if you had to kill him, I think, I almost think you got the balls to tell Xander to kill him. Like you said you was going to do. You was going to lock him up in that room or lock him up somewhere. Hold him hostage. You don't want to see Brady dead. And we all know that. So you have fun trying to convince us that you're going to kill Brady or harm Brady. But all you did is all you going to do. Hit him across the face with that gun and knock him out. That's about all you good for. Now, if you want him dead, you would have been told Zender to pull the trigger. And you know his happy trigger ass would have been very happy to shoot Brady. Remember, he put him in the hospital, almost killed him in Canada. So, you know it ain't nothing but a thing for him to kill him. Um, And as for you talking about some, he lied to you. He, just, he betrayed your trust. Did Brady ever have your trust? How did he portray you? How did he have your trust? I want to know how the hell did he have your trust. Because last time I checked, you was, hiding stuff, you was hiding stuff from him. He was hiding stuff from you. So, did he really even have your trust to, to uh, ruin y'all trust that y'all had in each other? Because last time I checked, you got his brother-in-law held hostage in the room. Well, you tried to bring him back. He came back as a vegetable. But did, did, did Brady ever have your trust? Like, really? You lied. He lied. He trying to find EJ for Sammy. You trying to get EJ back to work in order. Not a vegetable like. Y'all both lied at each other. Can y'all cross each other out and Brady use his sex as a weapon again? When it comes to you and you fall for it every time, like, I don't understand why you said that, Chris. And, like, you confused the fuck out of me. Y'all both lie to each other. Y'all each, uh, y'all each, um, take each other out. Y'all each cross each other out. And y'all both can go ahead and kiss and make up. Cause it's only a matter of time before you be running behind Brady ass again. Cause we know your ass still crazy over him. Cause, and as for your point 
of um Will and you said somebody else came back to live, but EJ came back as a vegetable in the wheelchair. As for your comment about that, did EJ get? I, it been so long ago, and I forgot how they so called. I think he got shot or he fell or something. It been so long, I ain't forgot. But yeah, after the way he died or so called died. Yeah, you should have known he wasn't going to come back in for a working order or something was going to be wrong. I know you would like to blame Dr. Roth for his little miracle drug that brain people from dead to zombies and alive again. I know you would like to blame him, but it ain't nobody fault to be blamed. The way he died is the way he died and you should have known something was going to be funny and up with that and the fact that you all in his face talking about Sammy, Sammy, Sammy and come back to me. I need you come back. Like, what you going to do if he going to start walking? Just like you keep on taunting him with Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Don't you think that's going to come back to bite you in your ass? Like, really, don't you think I'm going to come back to bite you in the rear end? Because he going to want Sammy. He ain't going to want nothing to do with you. Yeah, he might still love you or whatever, though. But his main, his main priority going to be Sammy and his children that he ain't seen in years. So, either way you look, you ain't going to be able to control him. And I like to see you try to control EJ. Good luck with that one. Yeah, he might be great for you bring him back to life. I'm pretty sure he hate that he a vegetable, though, but yeah, he ain't gonna have time for you. And you, Xander. Buddy, like I said, you got all the muscles. You look good. Ain't nothing wrong with you. You... You'll make a great boyfriend or wife to somebody, a husband to somebody else other than Nicole. You might want to get off of that. And like she told your ass today, if you back up with the blackmail, I might can show you something. She ironed your shirt or did whatever to your shirt and gave it to you. You want more out of Nicole. But yet, when she don't be in line and do what you tell her to do, you quit to bring up that recording. Which probably, if it did get turned in, they won't be able to accept that because that tape they been played and how many hands that tape they been in. So, even if you do manage to turn that tape in, I'm pretty sure they ain't going to be able to do, be able to do nothing with it anyway. It's because the fact that you blackmailing her, trying to force her to love her. Yeah, she played you back in the day. You might have caught feelings for her and you still hate her for the fact that, that she played you. Then the fact that you try to kill her and Eric in that van when it was in that van and you really think the person you tried to kill now you're blackmailing her you really think she gonna open up to you or ever love you or try to kiss you or all that in between and as for that recording of yours that you got locked up in the darn desk besides in the safe a locked deposit box hell anything other that involves a key than the obvious desk that you got locked and it's so convenient that Eric automatically figured and put two and two together that he got a, um, a paper clear, poked it in the jar, opened the jar, and they go to recording. Well, that came back to bite him in the ass called, I think you got the recording all over again, and he on the floor, not dot so. Yeah, Xander, you should have picked a better place for your little, um, for your little, um, evidence you got there rolling around, cause that didn't make sense for you to put it there and have it there of all places. Like, I don't know what the hell you were thinking there, but okay, you thought it was cute. You had to put it somewhere. I guess that was your first priority, so you ran with it in. I guess you was happy with the spot you put it in. Not really, not realizing how convenient it could be for anybody else, though. But you put it there, though. Um. Oh yeah, Sammy didn't know. Um, Brady was all involved in this plan that he had ran off with Kristen, cause she went to the hotel or the motel that Kristen and Brady was at. She found his bag. She asked the man. 
She asked the man, did you see this woman and that she famous and that she used all types of identity? The fact that he said Kristen and he and you show him a picture of Kristen and the fact that he said he, she had a man all over her and he can get enough of feeling and touching on her. Why you couldn't put two and two together that that was Brady? You literally had to see the bad with his name going to put two and two together and realize that was Brady. Eric in this plan and he thought it was all but now he laid out on the ground not that call in. I'm guessing Xander still got the recording cause he came, knocked at the door and Nicole opened the door, thought it was Eric and he came back smiling. Well, you opened the door smiling. He came back with a serious look on his face so his gig is almost up to him. Yeah, Sam, why did, why did you not figure that out that it had to be Brady? Who else would be dumb enough to go off, go off in a, um, and a hotel motel with Kristen, talking about head their hands all over all over them besides your idiot brother Brady. But you should have figured that one out, but I guess you didn't. I guess the bag had to be enough evidence for you. Anyways, though, y'all, that was about it. We left off with Sammy opening the ED door. Yeah, with the ED dog walking in there looking for EJ. I'm pretty sure Kristen then moved him. So that's where we left off at, and that's where I'm ending it at. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.